Okay, the first question. A 25 years old patient is suffering from an acute attack of malaria. His blood field has shown P. reflux parasite. He goes chloroquine for his attack, but to avoid future relapse of such attack, he must be given A. Quinine, B. Nifloquine, C. Primaquine, D. Pancida. In case of what? To avoid future relapse of such attack, he must be given quinine, nifloquine, primaquine, pancida. Primaquine is primarily used to prevent relapse of malaria due to plasmodium vivax. Look, plasmodium vivax. Relapse is the super prima finin and the plasmodium. So, prima fin is primarily used to prevent relapse of malaria due to TB back and the P over. Recommendation the use of prima fin for primary prophylax period to travel. Of course, if them say negative, if them say that it do malaria, you know, tear or them of the yeah, the prima kini at the problem is that I should not need. Now, na PV vaccine is given to plasmodium vaccine is given to incidence is given to tear or them of them at the problem is that prima kini for that is true. And also for terminating problem is anti relapse therapy that is. A gadiya me bodan le chuda after travel anti akka itin relapse itin dominate proplex it up comes to enyo prima kini chuda for relapse it up nita akasmas proplex it is nita yitu as proplex before going it was the area of high evidence of what PV was and what after travel to prevent until uh, as relapse. Relief si akan nama si itin dia ini relapsi sanggup cut aku le akan akan dan dating kawan ne akan itu sub prima fin ini kita sama aja cut so the answer is what C that means prima fin prima fin is the answer prima fin is the drug for avoiding future relapse and also if you have a parasite, you can use it to avoid it. And also, the next question. A 22 years old man who frequently back complain of diarrhea and fatigue. Examination of a school specimen shows the nucleic organism with a or plagilla which one of the following drug would be effective in treating this patient intestinal protozoa infection infestation intestinal protozoa infection e three go to have drug in best effective to kabu is a fact so a it's in the zone in the training training Pentamidin, salfa, doxin. Jadi pun kita hendak coba outside of fat intestine ini kata operasi dalam ni. Bab mungkin dah jual fat intestine atau protozoal infeksi ni bayi atas masa nan nan aerobik makrobian ini berarti sebab pada lagu mungkin dah jual ni coba. So the answer is prefer for intra abdominal infection such as Anemia, Jardia, Trachomania, dia. Infection caused by susceptible anaerobic, yeah, anaerobic organisms such as bacteriology, Mycobacterium, Clostridium, Pepsi, Australopithecus. If we ostrichococcus and what people tell us, which is 
it also can be used to eradication of what it typically along with other drugs such as clarithromycin so methylmedazole is what the drug prepared for intra-abdominal infection that means intestinal protocol infection that causes methylmedazole to after a terminal cancer is a that means methylmedazole so methylmedazole is what the drug that uh, treat the patient intestinal protozoal infection infestation or manifestation so this is the uh, answer so the next question is that a 25 years old man is diagnosed with hiv and the therapy is initiated after the first week of therapy the patient complain of headache irritability and what nightmare which one of the following antiviral drug is most likely to be causing this symptom? Which symptom? The symptom of a headache, irritability, nightmare. Which drug has this manifested? A. Navibudin. In the Navibudin. If I will answer, maybe rapid. Explanation of the if avarence used for HIV infection that has not previously been treated. And the neuropsychiatric effects are the most common adverse effects for what? Interference. Include disturbing sleep, what? Including nightmare, insomnia, insomnia, disrupt sleep. Daytime fatigue, dizziness, headache, vertigo, blurred vision, anxiety, and cognitive impairment, including fatigue, confusion, and memory and concentration problem, and what depression, including suicidal thinking, that is what if Ifavarant is one of the anti uh, anti what retroviral drug. So the answer is. That means intolerant. This is the answer for, and this is responsible for this side effect headache, irritability, and what not. So the next question is what? A 30 years old pregnant woman comes to emergency department complaining of what? Fever, chills. Upon examination, the physician differentiates what? Malaria cases. With what? With laboratory result of p falciparum species. The patient comes from the chloroquine resistance. Look. The patient comes from chloroquine resistance. The anti-malaria agents that can be used preferably for this patient is A. Allopantrin. Niplocaine, primaquine, doxycycline. The, these patients come from what? Come from chloroquine resistance area. And the, the result of laboratory what indicates high falcium parum species. The anti malaria agent that can be used preferable for this patient is vaccination. Miplokin is used as a treatment for chloroquine. Look, miplokin is used as a treatment for chloroquine sensitive or resistant. Don't forget it. Miplokin in chloroquine sensitive is a low resistance in Afmali. Akatiritman chitti tajayi. Plasmodium falci palam malaria. And is seen it reasonable alternative for incomplete chloroquine resistance plus modium vivax malaria. Well, falciparum vivax malaria and complicated chloroquine resistance is actually not just miplokinin that can. Can actually miplokinin at a treatment in it a judge. The valatan amo miplokinin chloroquine sensitivity is also. Resistance is the same as the plasmodium falciparum malaria. The chloroquine is sensitive to plasmodium falciparum. 
ni gaba cloroquine treatment ni regis for plasmodium falciparamitis ni clofinio fayidam ni ni tidofat cloroquine ni gargara jechut akas mas an complicated cloroquine medicine and plasmodium ni vaksi gile ni tidofat cloroquine yo confirm ni clofinio ni so ni bufin is the drug ni clofinio is useful for the prevention of malaria in all area except for those where parasite may have resistance to multiple medication if you are resist to the tanam parasite in nana sanjur miflopeni ni dewanat ngelati is one of the several anti malaria medication if you are recommended by the united state centers for disease control and prevention for this purpose so miflopeni ni do ni dewar bani te gana pay so the answer is b that means miflopeni miflopeni Nilopin. So, that's why that Nilopin. Next question is that a patient comes to your hospital for medical checkup for his hypertension and gout, who was in hydrochlorothiazide in the pedonsolum. Vital sign shows that blood pressure 140 per H6 normal uric acid level and currently the physician diagnosis shows pushing syndrome. Which one of the following drugs will not be added to this patient? Cushing syndrome is a collection of sign and symptoms due to prolonged exposure to glucocorticoids such as cortisol. Sign and symptom may include high blood pressure, abdominal obesity, but within the arm and legs, reddish straight and melts as round trapez fat lines between the shoulder, weak muscle, weak bones, acne, and fragile skin that have healed thoroughly. That means this TPM is what? Cushing syndrome. So, glucocorticoid family and general cushing syndrome, right? So, the answer is what? C. That is Pridinzolol. Pridinzolol is the answer or responsible for Cushing syndrome. And the pharmacist working in the health center wanted to send report and requisition for report to the health office, which is the date of submission to this report. Date of submission to this report. If they want to three days, one to five days, one to ten days, one to fifteen days. Timelines as per the integrated pharmaceutical logistic system or IPLS of Ethiopia a reported is said to be timely submitted. If the health center directly submits their RRF to the higher supplier or PFS until the 10th day, until the 10th day, after the reporting period or if they submit to Wereda Health Office until the fifth day after the reporting period and the hospital submitted their report. To pharmaceutical fund and supply agents or regional health bureau until the tenth day. Until the tenth day. After the reporting period until the 10th day after the reporting so the answer is B that means 1 to 5 days leaving Canada I choose